I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For our morning meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 20 verse 12. The hearing ear and the seeing eye the Lord hath made even both of them. From this morning scripture, we can understand the greatness, the sovereignty of God in the lives of every individual born on this earth when a new child is born the first thing that everyone wants to know is that is the child healthy the sense of hearing and the sense of sight are very precious in our lives but do we realize that it is in the hands of the almighty whether to bless us with a healthy child or a differently abled child we owe him nothing therefore we cannot demand anything the five senses that we have are not our rights but they are blessed privileges god's words to moses were very clear that it is he who creates the blind the deaf and the dumb when a deaf or a blind child is born it is not an accident It is the choice of God concerning our life. And we are helpless. His choices concerning an individual's life is perfect. Do we realize the thousands of choices that Almighty God has taken concerning our lives? Even though we have been blessed with the free will. He has taken the choices for us. because he knows as the creator what is the best for us are we ready to accept it this morning his power is unlimited and his authority is absolute though man is rebellious in nature god has the right to do what he chooses this morning let us take a moment to take a look at the choices that god has taken concerning our lives the timing of our birth our gender our parents our siblings our abilities and opportunities in our life and there are so many other factors that influence our existence the life that god has given us is precious today many are tired with life and they commit suicide that is a grievous sin in the sight of the creator may the lord help us to look at this crime from the creator's eyesight it is the creator who decides the timing of our death may the lord help us to realize the sovereignty of god in our lives let us not rebel against his decisions He is the potter and we are just the clay. Let us humble ourselves before him this morning and surrender to his will. More than our physical eyesight and power of hearing is our spiritual hearing and sight. When man rebelled against God, he experienced spiritual death. And since that moment he has lost his relationship his communication with his creator and he has been walking on his own trusting on his own wisdom it is only through the born again experience that one receives the spiritual life and his eyesight and spiritual hearing are restored to see the ways of god and to hear his voice that is why christ said except a man is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god our education won't help us see the kingdom of god today we see man struggling in search of the truth he tries his level best seeks the refuge of religion with all its traditions all its rituals but at the end he ends up restless living under the constant fear of death the people following jesus experienced his blessings through miracles and they and their needs were being met but they could not see the spiritual blessings that they could receive 
through their messiah who was standing right in front of them but he revealed it to his own disciples today we desire the world to be saved and we pray and reach out with every means that's possible but until and unless god opens their eyes and ears we are helpless today we try to convince others but convincing does not convict a sinner it is the spirit of god that must convict a person it is no wonder to see an educated man believing in the theory of evolution even after seeing the marvelous creation of god right before him we need to be grateful to god for giving us the gift of salvation and opening our eyes and ears to realize the preciousness of his gift in this lifetime it makes us humble and gives us a heart to live for his glory let us pray that our spiritual sense of hearing and sight be sharp enough to hear his voice and to see his ways before us so that we may glorify his name may the lord help us to live for his glory let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time and thank you for the precious word that you have shared with us thank you lord for opening our eyes and our ears to see your ways and to hear your voice lord in these days when we hear lot of sounds and lot of and we see lot of things father help us to be sensitive and lord we pray for our near and dear ones and there are so many out there who have not heard your voice have mercy on them help us to cry for them so that in these days they too may have their spiritual eyes open and their ears open to hear their creator's voice to see the creator's ways and may return to that fellowship with you so that your name is glorified through their life before the age of grace is over may your name be glorified lord in jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless each one of us our lord is coming very soon maranatha